Okay, we're going to look at patterns with fractions. So we see here I start with one half, followed by two thirds, followed by a blank, followed by the whole number one, followed by one and one sixth. So the first thing I notice is that my general trend is that I'm increasing. I'm starting with one half and I'm ending up at one and one sixth, which is greater than one half. Each of the numbers I have here increases from what comes before it. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to get all of my denominators to be the same because I'm going to have to find out the difference between uh, each of the successive fractions. So I see a 2, I see a 3, I see the whole number 1, and I see the uh, 6 denominator there. So what I'm going to do, I look at the 2, 3, and 6, and I say my least common multiple is going to be what? So I, my multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. My multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12. My multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, etc. So my least common multiple, the first multiple that they all share are 6. So I'm going to convert all my fractions to fractions that have a 6 as the denominator, including the whole number. Okay. Now, I say, how do I get from 1 half to a number of sixths? Well, 2 times what equals 6? 2 times 3. So if I multiply the denominator by 3, then I also multiply the numerator by 3, and I get 3 sixths. Next, I get 3 times 2 is 6, therefore I multiply 2 times 2, and I get 4. Over here, I have the whole number 1, so any whole number, the way you write it, it, as a fraction is just keeping the numerator and the denominator the same. So it's going to be 6 sixths. And then 1 and 1 sixth can stay absolutely as it is. So now, I want to look at what's happening between each of these. And I, they are increasing. And so I need to find the difference. What is the difference between 3 sixths and 4 sixths? And what I, so I subtract. 4 sixths minus 3 sixths, and I get a difference of 1 sixth. So what's happening is this is increasing by 1 sixth. Now I'm going to check my other one over here to make sure it's the same thing. So I'm going to do 1 and 1 sixth minus 6 sixths. Okay, now I'm going to need to regroup here. So I take away the whole number 1. I add 6 sixths to 1 sixth, and I get 7 sixths, and I subtract, and I get 1 sixth. So once again, this is a difference of 1 sixth. So what this means is that I am my uh, missing number here, okay, is going to be 1 sixth greater than 4 sixths, and it's going to be going back this way, 1 sixth less than 6 sixths. So I can do one of two things. I can do 6 sixths minus 1 sixth. Can I have your attention, please? Fifth grade chorus is canceled today. Fifth grade chorus is canceled today. Or I can do 4 sixths plus 1 sixth. So for me, I love adding. And I'm going to do 4 sixths plus 1 sixth equals 5 sixths. And that is going to be my missing answer. So my answer is 5 sixths and once again the rule if it asks you for the rule okay, is increasing or to increase by 1 sixth. Okay, good luck.